hello everyone how you doing welcome to my channel if you're new hello my name is Toke that's short for Ori Toke so uh, yeah we talk about self-development uh, being a better person uh, you know just building yourself and I'm here to help you along the way but today's um, topic is gonna be a bit different we're gonna be talking about life in Malta because I'm a Nigerian girl rather I moved to Malta a few months back and um, I'm gonna be sharing some of my experience as a student here in Malta the culture shocks and you know I'm gonna be getting a bit personal today and um, let's just jump right into it and if you have questions you can leave it in the comment section below um, I'm gonna be checking and um, answering your questions so adjusting that's the first thing I'm going to talk about adjusting to life here in Malta well the first two three months was not easy for me but it was easy to catch up like I was able to catch up and then you know life in Malta is actually very nice peaceful and I'm talking from the perspective of you know a student because I'm schooling here and uh, you know you the, it is flexible if you want to work if you want to but I believe um, students for students um, you have like limited time to work but that's by the way I'm saying adjusting because I've lived all my life in Nigeria Lagos Nigeria precisely so moving here I moved here a couple of months ago and uh, it's <laughs> it hasn't been easy but I'm, I'm thankful to God adjusting to life in water here shouldn't be a big problem because and, and like I said, I'm talking from a perspective of someone who is schooling here. Um, I go to school a few times in like a week, like a few times, maybe three times in a week. So I have the rest of the week to myself. And even though you have like limited amount of like time to work, like if you're a student, like you're not expected to work outside a certain number of hours, but you would have time for other things and at least that's one of the things I actually like about Malta like and I am a full-time student like not part-time I am a full-time student so I get to like although this is not to say other schools are also like this but that's because of the kind of school it's a private school and you know you get what I'm saying like yes uh, my school and everything it's, it's flexible so that's the first thing adjusting to life here in Malta is actually very nice it's peaceful Maltese people are very nice people and um, when you get here and your papers are really really like the legal documents came here legally and not you know the other way around and it's just easy and then there's one thing your Schengen living in Malta you can travel anywhere under the Schengen region so um, that's by the way um, the second thing um, I noticed <laughs> when I got to Malta is that in, in a way indirectly transportation is actually free to almost anywhere in Malta transportation is free I'm coming to that so usually you can just you know register the right way and you know get a bus card and anywhere you'd like to go even as a student there are cards for students a card for people that are working in Malta because that's like another route entirely if you're coming to Malta but I'm saying if you stay in Malta and you're here legally um, transportation is actually free in a way it's free yeah you pay for the card but once you pay for the card and it's a very small amount once you pay for the card you can move almost anywhere around Malta, even to the other islands, Gozo and um, the other one. But another thing is, standard of living can vary, right? And what I mean by that is, it depends on your income. Like I said, I am a student, and even though I'm not working yet, um, it's still it's it's actually good. Standard of living is very good. It just depends on how you plan yourself, how you intend to work and what you intend to do you understand and housing here most times most people share um, uh, 
apartment you would notice when you come to Malta that's for people that maybe you know they're just starting off most people in Malta share apartments like when you come maybe through school and I'll keep saying school because I am a student if you want to share apartments maybe it's easier to just talk to your school and you know school hostel that one is even for sure if you move to Malta through school and you know you're going to be staying in the school hostel definitely have to share an apartment with someone but if you're you know capable of like staying alone or you have a good sponsor and maybe like your parents that's also fine you can come and maybe just get a place for yourself because for me when i got here i'm i'm actually not staying um, in the school still but if you're going to be staying in the school still you have to keep in your mind you're going to be staying with people like sharing rooms and all of that but that's also by the way uh the standard of living here is very very good uh the standard of living is very good at least if you have for example 600 euros 600 euros you should be able to pay maybe for i'm talking about people who will be sharing apartments now you, you should be able to pay for your apartments monthly like for your uh, rent and upkeep six to seven hundred euros every month you should be able that's for people who would like to share i'm saying from that amount upward because there are people who stay alone, decide to stay alone, and you know they pay for apartments depending on the number of rooms and the location. Um, there can be rooms that go for you know seven hundred euros for one person, like studio apartment, and there are also places that you know the rooms are like maybe two or three rooms, one five two thousand euros. So <laughs> you understand the things. But standard of living is actually very very. Um, it's flexible it's good i will not stop saying it it depends on like what you intend to do if you're coming here to work that's like another route entirely but for me as a student i'm going to be telling you like i'm going to be saying the same thing to you like i said before you would have to talk to your school the school will be coming um to like they would be like really helpful for you and um it would be helpful to you rather and uh it would help you with the process but if you need any help you can leave a comment in uh, the comment section below and um, another thing is the healthcare system i noticed that i was able to go to the hospital recently and i noticed how everything worked if you're here legally and you have your permit whether you're a student or when you're working here your work permit or your student permit the healthcare system is very nice and um, don't forget you can't just have the work permit you have to have uh your insurance health insurance so everyone has that that's that's important so you have to have that so life here is like it's really good it's flexible and uh one of the things i noticed aside the healthcare system is that uh people are really peaceful like people just mind their business and everybody goes about their day nobody's bothering anyone they're actually nice people but these people are nice people and uh, for me i actually have no regrets i'm happy schooling here and although i don't know for now if i'm going to be staying in order for a long period of time but for now i actually see myself for now staying here and um, you know let's see how it goes um and yeah there there are communities here depending on like because i have a friend she's nepal i also have nigerian community for my family like they're like family to me and so it depends from like whatever country you're coming from I also have indian friends very nice guys in fact i love them like good friends they're very very nice relatable people you meet people from all walks of life like and another thing I like about Malta is that, you know, people come here, to, like tourists, they come here and you get to meet so many new people every time and it's, it's one of the beautiful things I love about Malta. Malta has like historical places here that you can easily just go and chill, maybe with a friend, just go. Although, another thing I'm going to say is, 
it is not easy to make friends here it is not easy at all at all it is not easy and why i'm saying that is because if i'm wondering if i just came here through maybe like a work visa it's actually not easy which is why i'm talking about communities like for me i have a community of friends like and family i also have a church you understand so it's easier for me to like you know talk to people have people to relate with when i need help i can easily talk to them because you know you're coming from wherever country you're coming from and it's just like god i don't know what, what i'm going to do here just help me and you just you're just going and for someone who just got here and yeah i haven't really seen the whole island but i can tell you that it's a very nice place yeah water is very nice place and i will not stop saying it when you do everything legally and you have your papers complete you're fine you're good to go and like i said i love so much i love it so much i love the fact that when you have the Maltese visa like and uh, you know your permit it is like you can easily travel you know to countries that are under you know the schengen region so for me that's like a plus and um the culture shocks <laughs> the culture shocks and life i'm laughing because you see, when I got to Mozart, I came around the winter time. Like, when winter was almost gone, I came around the winter time. And for me, it was like, ah, it's, cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, let this cold go. And then now it's hot, and I'm like, don't oh, mind this one. There's <laughs> air conditioning. But I'm saying, like, the weather and adjusting to everything has just not been easy for me because you know i'm coming from nigeria i'm nigerian and everywhere is warm and i'm more used to that kind of thing so when you're coming especially when you're coming during winter time pack your bags so uh the cultural shocks for me <laughs> i just remember something the cultural shocks for me one of the cultural shocks is like for example i'm just in my house I'm sleeping like the other day son i think it's sunday or two sundays ago i came back from church and i was having this headache lying down sleeping and i just heard Wah! like like a loud something just i, I was wondering where is this coming from and then i realized oh okay i'm in more down okay calm down ah, okay calm down guess what they 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 use fireworks it's actually one of the traditions they use fireworks this when they're celebrating anything by the way um fireworks festival was like a month ago uh i didn't get to put it here on uh youtube but it was on my story on instagram you can follow me on instagram at ori underscore toke with the h behind it i'll put it in the description box below but what i'm saying is the cultural shops here guys <laughs> Although I miss some things, I miss food. I miss the Nigerian food. I miss, I miss all. I miss the fact that and I was coming from Lagos, Nigeria, so I miss the fact that I could easily leave my house and just go somewhere and just go and find one I'm a last spot. You know, all those kind of so all those things. And here yeah, for you to find something like that here, you like ready meat, like you just buy it, fast food, Nigerian food. It's it's quite expensive. Well, it's not expensive like that, but it's you know it's on the eye side. When you calculate and you you know you convert the money, you're like, what? Something I can easily get back at home for how much? But you have no choice, so you would have to. That brings me to this point. You would have to learn to cook for yourself. If you know sabi cook, that's broken English for if you don't know how to cook, you better start learning how to cook now because. If you have an um, intention of moving to places like this, you have to learn how to cook because <laughs> you have to cook every time. And if you're interested in eating takeouts, maybe you love to eat takeouts. Fine, you're gonna spend that money, but you would have to cook. So that's by the way. Uh, I don't know. I won't say I wasn't ready, but <laughs> I had to learn to enjoy my own company. Yeah, you have to learn to enjoy your own company because. Yes, it's not easy to find friends here, but and I will not stop saying this. I am talking from a student's perspective. But if you have questions for maybe to work in Malta, no, you can leave your comment in the comment section below. So I'll reply to that. Ah, uh, yeah, lest I forget, 
Malta has really nice places like the other islands, Gozo and uh, the other one, Kumino. Very nice islands, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. In fact, when you see, if you Google it now, you go and check Google. If you Google it and you see beautiful pictures, it's an understatement. It's beautiful. They really, really hold on to their tradition, and I love that about them. They are trying not to like. But at the same time, there's just so many constructions going on, and it's just like, but well, that's by the way. So that's all I have for you on this episode. And um, please, 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 please like, share, subscribe. My channel channel is new. My channel is very new. I'm just, you know, starting this channel to help you, and let's grow together. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye.